All right, super easy video on how I do my Zelda custom. Now I use a combination of two different systems for my ZK and basically the way that it works is I have a file over here in Dropbox, which I actually have downloaded into my computer. And this file I called my brain and this holds each of the individual nodes is what I call them, They're each of my notes. So these are every single one of those and you can open up like one of them at end of time and you can kind of see, uh, no, I don't wanna do that. So this is just a random text editor that I have that opens this stuff, but you can kind of see all of the things in here. There's different links and I'll explain how those work in a second, but each of these is their own file. And so when you go into the Zetto Custom itself using one of the programs either on the phone or on the computer, both of those will be in the link in the description so you can see that stuff and see how I use it myself. It's basically Dropbox is set up where all of the files are directly in there. And then what I can do is on my phone, I can open files from that thing in an app, which allows me to edit it and see it and click through that stuff. And then I also have something on my computer that does the same thing. So Dropbox is how you sync it and get it to work on multiple devices. And this is that folder. I call it my brain. I have it with the explanation point. So I, it goes to the top of Dropbox, makes it easier to find. And then that's how the files basically sync between things. Now you have the actual program itself, which is Visual Studio Code. And I just use this. It's, it's it takes a, the little bit that you need to know. And this is the program itself is basically how to create links between different files. And I'll show that really quick. But basically, you open up this, it's a free program, um, you can get different extensions for it. I use um, super extension, I use markdown. Uh, this extension basically what we do is, these are like add-ons, like downloadable stuff that's free. Um, ones that I will use for the Zettelkasten is this markdown all-in-one editor, as well as markdown tags. And let's see. I think those, oh, preview. I believe those two or three allow me to use the Zettelkast and be able to see through it in this editor to make it free. Um, so then what we can do is go over here and I can open a folder. And so what I do is I open the folder, I find this is my Dropbox folder. I open my um, Zettelkast folder and then it'll open everything here and allows you to see. So you can see this is, um, one of my notes, this is a new one that I was working on. So let's see, this is the index, and you can see this preview window over here, which allows you to actually click on stuff and work on it like it's an actual like page. This is the links. So this is one of the um, extensions I was saying over here in this corner. Um, and this extension allows me to view and click things. So I have that open on a second window here. This is my index page, which is basically has links to all of these different little hubs that I have my information stored in. So for example, um, one of the ones I've been working on recently or the ones that I use the most because of my productivity hub. So I click over here and it opens up, these are different notes. So you see here, let me see if I can find this note, productivity hub, um, productivity hub. And so you can see, I can search through all of my notes and it will find me. These are all links to Productivity Hub. And then let's see, those are links. And you can kind of see right here, the one with the, there's different formatting options. So this is the hub. So when I click over here, this is the actual hub for productivity. And you can see all of these are my, so there's three different layers for my, the way that I structure mine. You've got your higher level, which is your index, which connects all of your, your hubs, your uh, topics together. And then you have the second layer, which is the hub, and that connects all of the notes. And then the notes are these little guys, um, any of these, this is one that I use a lot. And basically each of these different notes can be linked together and everything's linked together. That's the reason that I use this interface and this program is it allows me to create notes and links that I can collect. And then you notice how I'm just, I'm pressing one of these buttons, it opens up to, so this is a different hub that it connected to. And so I can go through and I can walk through all of these different ideas that I have and just click through them. So I'm back at the index, I can click here, now I'm back here, boom. 
So now I'm here and I can just kind of view these different areas and these different topics. And that's how the whole system works. Now the way to get it set up is basically creating a, a file using Dropbox, creating a folder, and then putting these, um, creating Markdown, they're using Markdown, uh, which is just like a fancy way to do, like you see this, um, this basically makes something a title. So I, I can just, if I get rid of that, you'll see it just turns over here into normal text. If I put this back, it turns it into a title. Um, when you have a hashtag and there's no space, it turns it into just a tag. It's something that I can use to search on the phone version of this to figure out the different notes that have those tags. So I can also, you can create different size. Um, you can change the different size of your titles with that. Um, and then this is just a space because there's every line basically has to be on a new, needs a space in between it, as you can see, which is why it looks kind of weird uh, formatted wise, everything needs a space in between it for a new line. Um, but this adds an extra space. It's just a weird thing I Googled how to do that. Um, so this is kind of like the learning part of it is figuring out how to do these things. Um, this right here is, you can see this is the text. And then this is the way, I, there's a few different ways you can make clickable links in between to other documents. This is the name of the document right here. This is the actual location of the document. And so when I press this, you can see hover over it. That, when I press this, it will link me back to this note. And so when I press it over here, boom, it brings me up to this one that's right here. And so, oh, let's press this again, maybe. Okay, so I press this again, it brings me right here. This is one of the smaller notes that I have. And then at the bottom, I have a link on all of these that goes back to the original hub that it's at. So I can go down, so I can go into a note and I can go back to the hub. So now I can press, you can see this is the hub. Um, you might be wondering what these numbers are. Um, basically each of these are time stamped, and that's what these are. So this is 2020, um, March, the 03 is March, and then March 26th, at 10:27 a.m. and then you can see like 2020 March 26th 1:46 p.m. and you can see like that's how these are thing it makes it so that it's individualized and so that it's easy to find and I can go through over here and everything's timestamped so this is the most recent one that I've added and this is the one that I added from a long time ago um, or my first one right here. So you can kind of see that. And these are all, all of this, this uses the Markdown language. So all you have to do is Google, how do I make something bold in Markdown? How do I make something italicized in Markdown? And you'll find all that information there. So let's see here, da, 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 da. go back here. And then I also have a back button that brings me back to the index. And then that's how you can kind of see, no, don't save, I don't want. So that's how everything is set up on this side of things so I can actually see and go through and like walk through these different things. So what I do is for creating a new, creating a new node, what I do is I create a new file over here and this creates a new file in the folder. And let's say we're gonna call this 2020. So today's year, it is the, it's June. So that's the 6th, 06, and then it's the 8th. And then it's 12.32. And then we're gonna go through and call this um, node example.md because that's the markdown file. And then here is our new node. Now this, I can see it's in the dropdown, it's in the Dropbox folder, so it syncs to my phone. So I can see this phone and open on my phone. Now what I've done is I've, I've gone way far beyond the other stuff, I automated this a little bit. I have a formatting that I like to do for each of these things. So I have created these like previews where it automatically adds this stuff to it. So I can add a image, a link, I can add all this stuff. So I have created one that I call node. So I've got two different ones. I've got a complex one and a simple one. Um, these are just different styles. So simple 
adds this, it adds the title that I wanna have. So this is node example, and then the tags, let's say node, this is Zettel, Kasten, and then notes. And then I can add like, this is in example node. And then um, I add the area that it came from right there. Boom, Christian Alita. And then I add a link back to it. So I'll go, the way you create links is you first create the text that you want it to be in using square brackets. So this is gonna be index. We'll create one back here. And then what's great about using this program is that if I press the parentheses, it will automatically give me a list of all of the different things and I can start searching through this. So now when I press this, it helps me create links and makes it faster. So I can press index and look at my index pops up right there. And look, I just we just created a link that goes back. When I would press this, it goes back to the index. Now in this location, I would edit this one and add a link back to the one that we just created, the node example, so that you can go back and forth between them. And that's how you create links that go together. Now, of course, you don't need all this. You could literally just add something super simple and have that be it. And then of course, the only important thing, this is what it took me so long to learn, is figuring out how things like link together, how do you format things, and then add some like links down here. Um, so that's really, how you go through, I hope that helps explain the system and delete. Uh, don't save that. What, what is this? There we go. All right, so now that we've got that, so now you can kind of see how the system works a little bit getting into the nitty gritty. Um, now what we can do is actually see how it connects to the phone. Do, 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 do. So now what I have here is in my brain. You can see these are all of the files in here and now. Boom. So you can see that's the most recent one. It has been updated recently, but now I have um, this app is called. Okay, so I use Hope you can see the app right here. This is the note that we were just looking at a little bit earlier. So this app basically lets me look, make this easier for me. Um, so I can see these little tags right here. And if I press one, if I can do that, it will bring me up to all of the ones that have that same tag. So this is the mobile version. These are all the notes right here. And then I can go here. I can see title looks great. I can go through here and I can still click things. So I can click, boom, it opens me up to the next one and then I can bring back to that because I have added a link that goes back and then it brings me back to that. And then I also have my, my hubs in here which are just a whole bunch of links and then I have the index which is down, oh, down here. You can also, eh, it's hard to backwards type things. <laughs> so this, is, this app is $5. And I found it really helpful. I can just like go online and, or just go on my phone and be like, oh, hey, what's that thing that I was looking for? And then I can just get like book summaries. I can get different ideas. I do find it a little bit harder with the way that you have to format markdown language to get, um, really kind of get and make it easy to just add notes on your phone. So I usually have like a, a text document and I'll just add ideas to that. And then when I get to my computer, I'll just, just add it on there. So yeah, I hope that helps with explaining the whole system. It's a little bit complicated. It took a little while for me to get it up and running, but I think that this video will help kind of break down that and make it easier for you just to get started. So let me know if you have any questions on how to use this thing or how to set things up, because I'll totally be available to help.